What's up, everybody? Busta Boy here. And you know what? I decided to try to do something a little different. Um, See, I tried something like this before. It didn't quite work out that well. It actually blew up in my face. I didn't hardly know very much about anything of what I was reviewing. But this time, it's about to be a little bit different. I actually saw this morning something really good, and I want to review it. Um, KBW's final episode, um, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and <laughs> wow, what can I say about it? I mean, that had to be the greatest match of all the five years that I've seen KBW. Like, I I've, I've, haven't watched all of them as they were brand new. I have started watching it in season four, but of all the matches that I've been watching over the years... Let's see, I've probably watched three seasons in a year at one point, a year span at one point. But yeah, of all of them that they've made so far that I've seen, that was the absolute best match. And that is definitely, I believe Cage said it best in one of his, in his uh, hype video for it, his promo video for it. He went out with a bang. Oh, they went out with a bang. Um, so I go into this match. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna break it down match for match. There's a lot of big spots, a lot of big spots in that match, and I fucking love it. I absolutely love it. And um, I'm gonna start with the good and the bad. There's not much bad actually to say, so I'm gonna start with the good. I'm gonna let you know right now, from a logical standpoint, there's not much bad in that at all, except the dog got in the way, and that was really annoying. I knew the dog was going to get hurt, you know, but good news is the dog's okay, so, <laughs> yeah, they commented and said, yes, the dog's okay, so that's really good. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that later, but that's the only, like, bad about it. There was an actual injury, but it wasn't a person that got injured, it was an animal that got injured a little bit, but he hobbled away, he was okay, um, but... That's not what it's about. Let's go about the big picture. It was originally supposed to be a triple threat match. Cage versus AK-47 versus Big Time Mike. But then a curveball came in. Pac-Man. Pac-Man cashed in his money in the bank. Wow. So the triple threat match was turned to a fatal four-way match. And I say the more the merrier. The more the merrier. I the only com the only thing I wish it was was an elimination style match. That would have been epic. Like even more epic than it already was, but Oh my god, let's see. What do we have? We had street signs, we had thumbtacks. Fucking thumbtacks. I mean, I've seen thumbtacks in KBW before, but Every single time, even even in professional wrestling, if I see thumbtacks, you know there is going to be pain. I mean, I've stepped on a thumbtack before. I've stepped on one, and that shit hurts. But big time Mike ended up retaining at the end of it all. 38 minutes. Actually, 35-minute match. They had to actually continue the next day because the sun was going down. It was a, it was such a great match. It's a dynamic match. I love how they played into the sun setting. Um, I love how that happened. You know, I mean, the sun it got too dark. You know, I understand they had to do it the next day. It still was great. I mean, it was it that had to be match of the fucking year in backyard wrestling. That had to be match of the year. The year just started, but this has to be match of the year. Um, this match right here is going to go down as one of my absolute favorites. You know, I mean, the, it's, I would have to say it's up there with, um, with my first ever Thunderstruck pay-per-view. Like, my first ever UWE event that I've ever seen, um, Thunderstruck. Um, it's up there with that. I mean, it's up ranked a little bit higher than that. I mean, if it wasn't for... It, part of me is saying this because if it wasn't for KBW, I wouldn't have known 
all such awesome community was around, you know? I wouldn't have known such an awesome community. And they proved they still got it, man. Cage. Cage versus Big Time Mike versus Pac-Man versus AK-47. A lot of big spots. A lot of high spots. High octane moves in that match, you know? I mean, there were so many great spots in that match. I mean, the, the slamming them through the... Through the um, through the road sign onto the outside, I mean, on, through the thumbtacks and the road sign. That was amazing. The high spots, the high jumping off the trampoline to the outside. The match overall was beyond a five-star match. But seeing how we do, you know how we do it here. The rating match, the overall thoughts on this match. There is nothing but good on in this match that I can say. There's nothing bad at all to say about it. The only complaint I have is I wish it would have been the elimination match. That would have been even better. I mean, the, I mean, it would have made an already badass match even better. Um, my overall thoughts on it, my overall rating anyway, I would have to say definitely a high 9.5 out of 10. Because that match was the absolute best KBW match I have ever seen. And that match was high up there next to Cage and Bulldozer. That's better than Cage and Bulldozer. That's Cage better. That's better. That is the best Cage match I've ever seen. That's the best AK-47 match I've ever seen. That is the best Big Time Mike match I've ever seen. I mean, this was the this was the Big Time Mike at best in the yard. This was bigger and better than the K than the K than the um cage. The big time Mike we saw at best in the yard against Drew Hood. This was this was this was big time Mike at his absolute best. This was AK forty seven at his absolute best. This was Cage. I mean we thought Cage couldn't get any better, but shit. He could even got even better. I mean, you can tell these guys have so much passion for what they do, for what they love. You can tell they absolutely love KBW. You can tell that the passion and the love that they have for it. They didn't want it to go, but you know what they say about good things, right? They all must come to an end. So what a beautiful way to end it. You know what I mean? I absolutely love the ending. I highly recommend it. Um, I will put a link in the description if you guys have not checked it out. Please, please check that match out. I highly suggest you check it out. It is the best match in KBW history um, because it's the last match in KBW history. So on that note, I say this is Buster Boy 46 signing off. Same game on. Rock out. Stay frosty, stay real, stay hungry, and hashtag KBW for life. Here, I just want to point out um, one more thing during the review as well. AK-47 and Cage hugging at the end. That was really great, an excellent way to end it, you know, because, and it's also the two rivalries at the very beginning, since the beginning, AK-47 and Cage, you know, hugged it out and respect each other. A way to end KBW. And um, I just want to say, Cage, AK, you two will always have a special place in my heart. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have met such a great backyard wrestling community. Guys like UWE, guys like BTW. You know, companies, I mean. And then guys like Everett Creed, Cameron Jackson, Fat Jack. He's starting to grow on to me now. You know, all those. And TJ Sakara, you know, guys like that. I wouldn't have met those guys if it wasn't for KBW and Cage and AK-47. And hell, I wouldn't know who the big time talk show if it wasn't for KBW. Which, by the way... Big time, Mike. 
I will get to you in a minute. But you two, you two are going to definitely make it for sure in professional wrestling. I mean, I wish you the best of luck, you know. Wish you the absolute best of luck. You two are definitely going to go and make it pretty damn far. Um, the WWE, I don't know, man. I don't know about the WWE portion of it, but hey, we'll see how far it goes. I'm, I'm going to love to watch your journey, you know, and see how far you guys go. Um, speaking of far, how far you go, um, Big Time Mike has really, like I said in the review, has really come a long ways since um, Best in the Yard, you know, and when he managed to somehow retain the KBW World Championship, I immediately was tweeting the whole entire time I was watching it. I was like, hell yeah, my boy, big time Mike, he won, man, because that's the person I wanted to win. No offense to Cage, no offense to AK-47, but it was time to pass the torch. You know what I mean? Because he did a lot, man. He's done a lot when KBW was going through its personal issues. He still stayed, you know, and he deserved it, you know. Now, the right man won. I mean, either way, just saying, I was very happy with the match. If Cage would have won, I, I would have been happy. If Pac-Man would have won, I would have been happy. If AK-47 would have won, I would have been happy. If Big Time Mike would have won, which he did... I would have been happy. It's one of those things where it doesn't matter who won. At the end of the day, we have a true winner, and that's the KBW fans. And that's what you guys were aiming for. And that I give you props for. Lots of props, lots of love. And for that, you four, you four including Pac-Man, this was my third Pac-Man match I've ever seen. But I'm like I said, I'm still getting in, like, I'm still trying to get more, you know, trying to get some of the older KBW stuff, you know, because, but this was my first ever um, backyard wrestling community I've ever gotten into and I've ever watched. Um, so, yes, so, of course, I don't know if you would consider this to be biased or not, but, yeah, definitely this... I'm just going to say this event was great. I enjoyed it. So I'm in enough wasting time. So <laughs> I'll chat at you guys later. I just wanted to let all of you know that as well. And I mean, this truly did. Unlike the APW review, which I knew nothing about them. This is this truly did feel like a true review. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys see KBW, the final episode? Have you guys ever heard of KBW? Have you seen KBW? Are you, did you used to be a part of KBW? Or just comment below about KBW. Let me know what you guys think. And leave a like while you're here. Thumbs up. Maybe a subscription would be great. That would be really awesome if you did that. Um, now, show your support on Twitter. For this awesome event, KBW final episode, great. Um, what's your favorite? Um, oh, one more thing to add in the comp in the uh, comments. What's your favorite backyard wrestling company? What's your favorite company in general? Um, so yeah. Later, everybody. Thanks for watching.